What is up guys, it is Turbo here and welcome to episode 170 of the FIFA 13 career mode. As you can see, we have two games for you today. One in the league, home against Real Murcia, I think. And then we have a home match, uh, sorry, an away match, I believe, at Galatasaray, which is going to be tricky in the Champions League. But just a quick note, uh, where you see the Champions League tables, because I didn't show you them last time we had a Champions League match against Ajax. Uh, we have a quite an easy group, actually, against, uh, you know, Ajax, Wolfsburg and Galatasaray. Not too hard, uh, but again, not too easy. Easy was the wrong word, you know, just not a challenging group is what I'm trying to say. But still, we have to go out and want to win against Galatasaray uh, later on. Uh, but just a quick note, last episode I had music in the background because I forgot to record the um, uh, the game audio. I do apologize. I'm going to have to have the music again uh, in this video in the background because, again, you know, it was part of the same session and I did forget to record the game audio. And I know you guys like the game audio instead of the music. And I do apologize for that, but just bear with me for these uh, these two episodes. It will be back to uh, the game audio um, next episode because I, I was just talking to Jordan on Skype and you know what happens then and yeah 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 but whatever Redmond gets us a goal in the seventh minute oh no number seven Redmond gets us a goal in the 14th minute uh, he stepped inside and had it and blasted it home actually on his left foot which is his weaker foot and it's nice to see Nathan Redmond scoring because I really want him to progress into a really good player I know he can play for England uh, or he has the capacity the capability to play for England if he really it really improves his game but we have a 1-0 lead which is all we really needed again Redmond going for the shot well saved by the keeper Campagna on the follow-up could not find his header goal with oh sorry he did direct his header goal was but he couldn't find the back of the net and again Gardner here Gary Gardner going forwards with a fake shot in the box a really 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 big boy deflection from the defender that was actually a corner uh, but it was a pretty boring first half and the second half proceeded to be much the same Gardner here on the wing crossing it in we perhaps should have got a touch on that a touch would have equaled a goal uh, but we still stayed only 1-0 up Hammer here was set through by the uh, by the player Redmond on the pounce on the rebound and uh, unable to get a goal still and I was feeling it was one of those matches where the other team were going to have one chance and score I was very thankful to Botia for that tackle there but it did finish 1-0 at full time and it was a pretty boring game the last couple of games actually have been pretty boring with Sevilla we haven't really been able to score many, uh, very many goals and I was very worried at the back, you know, I was very cautious and uh, making sure that all the tackles were in well. But Perotti wants to play the next game and unfortunately I'm not going to start him because I, uh, I employ this rotation system a little bit like Rafa Benitez here at Sevilla. <laughs> um, but he is on the bench and he is going to make a substitute appearance later on in this match as I've already decided. Uh, it was just a matter of time. But we have Galatasaray away and it's going to be a tough, tough match. I don't know many of the Galatasaray players but they are top of their league for a reason. But this match starts off in the best possible way. And Senye and Boni linking up fantastically to get us a goal in the third minute. Boni, a powerful, powerful header. And he actually has really, really good heading stats. He beats the defender to the ball, gets there first and manages to get us a goal. But you know this match is going to be good because Gattasaray managed to equalise minutes later. Richards and Yildirim managed to link up there. In and around our box, really good play actually, and a little bit of a, of a you know sloppy defending there at the back. Gets them a goal in the eighth minute. So this match is already got two goals and we're not even 10 minutes in. So it's obviously going to be a really, really good match. So sit back and relax as we prepare. The Ruiz is on here, stepping inside, having a good shot, parried by the keeper. And unfortunately, Coutinho could not find the, uh, the header towards goal. Uh, but a wonderful, wonderful bit of work by Richards. Uh, end up with Yildirim having a header on goal. Well saved by Diego Alves. But Diego Alves was needed again with a big boy save there. And the bridge managed to clear it out for a... Uh, or just managed to clear it out, really. Uh, but then, unfortunately, that happened. In the second half, um, they managed to get a second goal, which I'm not too pleased about. Because it's pretty much their only two attacks. Well, that's a lie. Galatasaray were dominating us. Not going to lie, guys. They really, really were. I could not find an answer. I tried time and time again with shots from outside the box most of the time. I just could not do it. Perotti and Redmond come on, but they could not change the course of the game, and we do actually take a loss. The first loss in the Champions League is against Galatasaray, which just is not good. Us and Ajax, who are the group favourites, are uh, down out of two uh, progressive spaces, and uh, I'm not too happy about it, you know? We need to step up our game in the Champions League. Maybe the players weren't feeling it today, maybe they had an off day, whatever. But next episode, we need to, or next time we have a Champions League match, we need to step it up, and we need to start winning our game, because we... We, this so far this season, we are below expectations, okay? In the league and in the Champions League, we need to be on top, and we are not. So I'm not too pleased about that. But here is the league update. Ooh, we are back in third place, and, uh, you know, it's still early days. I mean, there's only three points between first and, what, eighth, ninth there, eighth, I think it is. So, you know, we still have a long way to go, but it's a good start. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. Not the best of episodes in terms of results, uh, but hopefully we can improve on that next episode. So, like I say, see you guys there. Bye!